Welcome to Ben in Beyond. In France. In this series, we are taking Benny over to Europe. I'm so excited. To explore France, the Pyrenees, Andorra and Monaco, if things go to plan. This week, we begin in France, visiting Mont Saint-Michel, gorgeous French towns and getting lost in the countryside. Oh my God. We began our journey by leaving our home in Wales, driving into the night to reach a popular park up near the shuttle. woke up bright and early to get to the shuttle and actually managed to board an earlier train. How are you feeling? I'm really excited. <laughs> this is our first time on the shuttle. Yeah, we've never done it before. We've always flown places, haven't we? Yeah. yeah we've gone through passport control. I think we're just waiting to board now. I mean, I, I couldn't tell you. I assume so. Uh, yeah. But yeah, we're really excited. It's really clear here. I was a bit worried it was going to be really confusing. No, it is quite easy. Like they make it quite yeah. seamless. I'd say this is a bit easier than catching a flight. Yeah, I would say so. Because you just kind of. Just kind of yeah, you're just going through the phases. like. Yeah. Until you get there. Well, that's yeah. Stephen Fence. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm on a train like I've never been on a train before. Yeah. There's a train that goes under the ocean. Right. With a car. In it. I can't wait. <laughs> Where well, are we, mate? We're in France! <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? Uh, to that city, I think. Oh yeah, this looks like a main boat to a city, this, doesn't it? It was going well, everyone was following <laughs> us. Now no one's following us and I'm a little bit worried. But look, it says we're gonna, we've like cut across the countryside. Oh, right. Fingers I crossed. believe. Okay. Our first stop along the north coast was the town of Dieppe to break up the journey and stretch our legs. Unfortunately, as it was a Sunday, a lot of things were closed, so we didn't stay for long before heading to our park up. Yeah, yeah. Hot. Phone says 25, but all the boards... Like on the pharmacies, isn't it? Yeah, they've been saying 27, 28. 29, I saw on one. Yeah. And it has felt like that, especially in the windscreen of the van. Oh, yeah. It's been hot. What do you think about the spot, then? It's perfect. We're in the French countryside. We're sort of past Paris, below Enfleur, I think. Like... Pull them up. We'll put like a little map up. Yeah, if you were to intersect them, that's where we'd meet probably. And we saw this on Park for Night and it's absolutely perfect. You've got the sound of the stream behind us, space for one van, and a picnic bench down the bottom. So if I can show you, we've got this lovely stream here. A picnic bench down there. Where are we going to cook dinner? Just by there. Not bad, eh? No, we're really happy. And after a long day of driving, this is what you want, isn't it? What's for dinner? Chili con carne tonight. We went shopping earlier, picked up some 
French beef. So, I mean, I've like, never tried French beef. I assume I, it's as good yeah, as... Yeah, I assume it's no different. So we're going to cook a chilli con carne out here. It's lovely, it's quiet, you can hear the water and the birds, it's warm. It's really nice, isn't it? It's lovely. And as it got dark, we're now gonna eat inside. Oh, chalky fingers for so afters. Dessert. Yeah. And we're gonna watch the rugby while we eat. Here comes the stickers. They aim to be the first player to collect nine pizza cards and build their giant pizza slice. Right. Ready? Yep. After dinner, we settled down for the night and played some games. Oh, we woke up to a bit of actually a bit of a chilly morning. Um, my eyes are looking a bit puffy. A fantastic sleep, but it is definitely a little nippy this morning. I think it's gonna be another day like yesterday, where it starts off quite cold, like ten degrees, and then gets to like twenty-five. It's lovely, all right. Where are we going? We are going to Camembert. Oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited, I love cheese. Yeah, you do, <laughs> yeah, it's a guilty pleasure. So, we're gonna go get some proper Camembert from Camembert. Yes. Apparently there's a museum, which if there is, we're definitely gonna see a Camembert museum. Oh, 100%, 100%. <laughs> news it's all closed yeah it looks like in the winter it only um opens like wednesday to saturday and today's yeah. monday so, yeah we, there's a little museum little tourism area like um they got a shop a cheese bar oh, I'm good. all closed good. This up, it's bechamel ham croissant, right? Yeah, what it looks like is a croissant pizza. Croissant pizza, croissant cheese and ham toasty. <laughs> yeah. It's very nice. Is it good? Mm. It does. It's boiling though. It is, what is it now? 27? Yeah, I'm gonna have to whip the sun cream out. Good sight to have after a long walk. I know, we've been walking for about 30 
wait back 40 minutes. We've got the shuttle there, as you saw. We decided to walk it back because we didn't want to wait for the shuttle. She's hot. Audio recording, let's see oh. your nugs. Oh. oh, I should croc rub that is. A mosquito as well. Oh, croc rub. Oh, if you've had, you know, you know, if you've got croc rub. That sounds so dodgy. I'll spell it out. I'll spell it out in the video. Right, okay. What did you think of Mon Saint Michel? Nice. It was like, yeah, it was like, I think we said this earlier, but like Diagonal Alley from Harry Potter. Diagon. Diagon Alley. What I say? I don't know. Those kind of narrow, windy streets. Bit higgledy piggledy. Yeah, building all different buildings, all different sizes, tiny little alleyways. But yeah, it was, I don't know, not what we expected, I would say. No, and there, were la there was less there than I thought. A lot of, the, not that there wasn't a lot there, but it was a lot of the same. Yes, like, tourist um, shops. Yeah, a lot of gift shops which pretty much sold the same things. Um, there was more restaurants in there than I thought. Oh, uh, and there was that one restaurant that had that amazing view over the sea, wasn't there? Yeah, a nice glass front. Yeah. I thought there would be like um, a little knickknacks type of, which there is there, but also just full blown restaurants, which were a little pricey, but I'm, from what we looked, but nothing. But you are eating in a really interesting spot. Yeah, yeah, you're going to pay that little extra on you, but. We didn't eat out because uh, we just eaten and you had a crap instead. Yes, which was really good. Yes. We didn't go inside the Abbey. So when we were walking at the bottom... We were going in, weren't yeah, we? Yeah, we didn't plan on going in, but we saw because um, we've done St Michael's Mount and inside probably they're quite similar. So we thought, well, we'll, we'll just we're more interested on the outside than we are actually on the inside. And it was very hot. And it was very hot. 28 degrees. Right there. Yeah, there's a bug around me. You also got a bug in your leg. I'm just going to oh, ignore it. Okay. Yeah, we're walking up and um, we saw, ah, oh, it's free for 26 and under. Fantastic. Don't 23, free was 22. We walk up the, felt like thousand stairs. <laughs> Probably wasn't that many. They're very steep. And we go in and um, it turns out for EU citizens only. So, we got a fat union jack on our ID. Yeah, she asked for our ID to check we were under 26, and when we pulled it out, we thought, oh, no, because we've got these union jacks. And she said, no, no, UK, Brexit. Brexit. Yeah, sound. Yeah, okay. cheers. I thought there may have been a little... Oh, sorry. I was flicking a mosquito. <laughs> oh, my God, I don't like this. There's so many mosquitoes mm, about. We didn't think this through because of the, with the water. No. We'll see how we go. We might move. Mm. Oh, oh, oh! He was sucking on my blood, Reese. <laughs> <gasps> that's my, that's my blood. Hold on, I'll put it back in. No, I don't <laughs> want. Get a wet wipe. <laughs> when you said, "Yeah, I'll just ignore it," he was like, "All right then." Yeah, he was real happy when I said I'll ignore it. All right, I think we'll end up with that, that clip there. Okay, we're leaving. <laughs> Um, we sound pathetic, but we thought we just deal with the mosquitoes. Yeah. But then we got in the van to check something, and they're all in the van already. Oh, yeah. And you can hear them, and the noise alone is a nightmare. So um, see you in the next spot. A new spot. It's not bad. It's nice and flat. It's close. The guy is just sat in his car there, hopefully he goes. Other than that. What do you think? I'm quite happy with it. We did just have a very um Sad upsetting thing. moment. A it looked like a Vario bus kind of thing came down. It was very beaten up, but it was like a camper. Mm. And then um, it just came down the track to the car park and then just turned round and left. <laughs> we thought we were gonna make some friends. <laughs> Then again, maybe they're like us, you know, sometimes you just want to be on your own. Maybe, that's true, that's true. But we did get Benny's first international wave today, didn't we? Yes, 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 we did. And a beep. And a beep. We were at the car park for Mont Saint-Michel and Reese was putting stuff in the bin. And I was sat 
trying to find somewhere to sleep for the night and this T4 came and we'd seen them earlier on in the car park like further up yeah and they came past and I waved they both waved passenger and driver and then beeped at us it was nice it was very cute well no mosquitoes that's good oh yeah no mosquitoes here I've actually got a lump on my leg now where already I was bit, yeah Fantastic. which I'm really annoyed about because it's right just by my shorts line so I can't hide it Human. He was having a right old suck on my leg. Yeah, he was having a white meal. I know. Good morning. Um, you join us on a very fresh morning in France. Um, the past two mornings have been very fresh, actually. Um, I'm going to show you what the marshes look like around us because they look so cool. It's full of fog like mist just above the ground and it's really cool we are gonna hit the road in about five ten minutes and we are gonna go in search of showers that's our first job of the day to have a shower as you can tell I have had my shower we went to three is on the motorway one of them had showers you couldn't use them they were closed um, the other ones both had toilets but no showers um, so eventually we found this campsite I think it is it's in Ren I'll put the name on the screen for you because the facilities here are really good um, we went to the reception and she explained that it was two euros each for us to have showers and they're clean, hot showers, really nice facilities. So feeling a lot better now, feeling fresher. <laughs> so hopefully the rest of the day goes just as nicely. Um, we're planning on going into Ren and having lunch somewhere, which would be nice. Um, apart from that, I don't think we've got many other plans other than to keep traveling. Yeah. See how it goes. Where are we going? I like it so far. This is Ren. That's how you say it. We've just had a mare getting into a fucking, uh, like a multi story car park, but an underground one. Yeah. The height restriction was 1.95 meters. We're about 1.8, I think. Yeah, it's on a good day. On a good day. And we have a little backlight, the very back of Benny from when she was AA. So um, it was a bit squeaky bum now, wasn't it? <laughs> it was a bit, yeah. But we managed to get in, she's parked. Yeah. And it's, we like doing that because it feels safer because there's so many cameras, it's restricted access. So I keep getting a bug and... landing on me, so I'm like slowly going down. <laughs> and they're much cooler because today it's supposed to be 28 degrees. So it's much cooler for it to be parked underground. Yeah. depending on mosquito Yeah, we promised situation. to ourselves we wouldn't park near water again because we had to move last night. Yes, it was last night. Um, well, we're next to water again. <laughs> but this, I don't know, it seems... It is flowing. Yes. A little bit at least. Mm. We'll see how it goes. But we've... We're going to play by ear, aren't we? Well, we don't really have the luxury like yesterday we got to a spot a bit earlier so we could move and there was a spot yeah. really close by yes that's true as a backup we don't have a backup or well, we do but it's 45 minutes away yeah it's too late it's too, the sun's already setting and we need to cook exactly 
So it is very peaceful here though, isn't it? It's very it peaceful. A few people fishing. Are they away? Yeah, they're just down there fishing. Behind these trees, you can't see them on here. Oh, yeah. I didn't know there was people fishing. There's someone walking their dog. Uh, there's people running. Yeah, it's quiet. Oh, it's nice. Um, so yeah, we're gonna cook our dinner now. Yeah. Oh, on our new hob, because our uh, our hob. So. You can explain about this. Okay. Tell me about the hob. What happened? Well, firstly, day one. Our uh, I broke the bottom bowl. I put it by, by the side and door. On the back wheel, like the rest then, and never get into there. Instantly forgot it, forgot it was there. Opened this, I put a nice fat hole in it. Oh. It's near the top, so I'm hoping it's okay. It looks like it'll be above water level. Yeah, I hope so. And then the next day, yesterday, got a hop out to cook dinner. You'll have noticed there was no clips yesterday for food. No dinner so shots. We didn't have any. <laughs> Because the fitting for the gas snapped clean off. Like the actual fitting on the hob? Yeah. So our guess is there was a lot of speed bumps that day. So the hob hopped up, slid, and the kind of connector for the gas something. hit something on the way down. It just literally snapped it clean off. That sucked. <laughs> so no dinner yesterday. What do we have? Oh, we had a hamburger. To share, like by a hamburger, he means like four or five inches of it. It was about this big. Yeah. We had it to share. That was our dinner, so that was, that was lovely. And then today's just been a bit of a maintenance day. We had showers this morning, as you would have seen. We did our laundry, got some diesel, and found our new hob, which is a fancy Dometic. If, you, if you're on Van Life, you know the brand Dometic. We haven't got anything because, yeah. you know, we're not money Dometic, bags over here. Cool. Jeez, but we had no other option. It was the only one that would work with our gas and our regulator. So it was either get a cheaper one and get it with like the canisters. The click on ones. The amount of money that we'd have to spend on a new regulator and on the all the new bottles that we would need, we may as well, it, it wouldn't have really worked out much cheaper. No. So, well, I don't know, I guess we're fancy now. I know, we own a Dometic hob, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, I know. Oh, well, well, we're rich. Um, it even comes <laughs> in the case and everything. This is our new hob. The only issue we've got is that the connector is on the opposite side to where our other one was. So our other one was in there and we used to have the gas up here on the bed with all the doors open, obviously. Don't worry. But now we're just sort of doing this. See how it goes. It's not ideal. No, but if it works, it works. Yes. Yeah. Right, let me move so this tell us about over. your new toy. Well, firstly, I don't really want to use it because it's so nice and shiny. It is. Coffee pot uh, thing. Because of the flat one, that just kind of, you take that off and it just goes on top. A bit nicer than that, but yeah. yeah. And it has a detachable handle, doesn't it? So yes. that you can pick them up. And then um, it comes with a, another one uh, with... Ribs on it. Ribs, yes. For grilling. Yeah. Right. So it's now gone dark. It's considerably darker. We had a gas leak problem. Yes, but it wasn't us. It was actually this bit. We retightened all of this. We redid all that. No, it the was. The wrench it comes with. That bit. It's actually slightly too big, I would say. Yeah. So uh, you need to tighten it more than the wrench allows. Do you right there? <gasps> Please. I want my curry now. And finally. Dinner's saved. We managed to even cook up some naan breads. You did a great job, mate. Ah, uh, in comes the chef. <laughs> it was pitch black because I didn't want to right. track all the bugs. I don't think I've done a terrible job. We've got like Bombay potato, green beans because we want some veg, and no rice, which is odd for us. Yeah, potatoes is it. Got that spice.
bit quiet, haven't we? Yeah, we've missed out again. We wouldn't have seen yesterday, last night. I uh, think the last thing they would have seen was us going around La Rochelle. Probably, yes, walking about. Which was beautiful. Yes. I recommend. It's very, very pretty. Um, and then we went back to Benny, to the van, and our plan was to go find a car pub. We had one in mind about an hour away. It was lovely. We were going to get there nice and early. Such a, such a good day planned. Yeah, that wouldn't start. I was like, right, okay. Sounded like the starter motor, so we filled about with it like we've done before, no joy. We rang our regular mechanic back home and he gave us some tricks to use, no joy. So we decided Right, so we've done everything in our power yeah. to help her. Um, we'll have to call RAC. They sent a French mechanic to us who was absolutely lovely, bless him. Didn't speak any English at all, but we made it work. He really tried for us, didn't he? He was fantastic, he was great. We, we, we got there. Um, he recommended some garages. So the issue was. Uh, this should be the battery. So he said you need it replaced today or tomorrow morning. So I'm like, okay. He recommended this chain, almost like Halfords in the UK, I'd say. Yeah, just more garages. Yeah, like more garage rather than shop focused. Yes. Um, and he recommended one nearby with, Sorry, an, with an ear attached to it. So we were like, right, brilliant. Yeah. Like that gives you somewhere to stay for the night and you can go there in the morning so i rang them to check that we could go good job i did yeah because they couldn't fit us in um until the afternoon like they were like we're gonna have it too long for you so we're like right okay so i rang one 15 minutes further and they said we could fit you in at nine o'clock in the morning if you come so that's what we've done yeah. so now we have a new battery a new battery. Is we had to jump her this morning just to get to the garage. Yes. And she only started once she was jumped. We continued making progress south, managing to fill up our water along the way before we picked up our friend from Toulouse Airport. Our next destination was Spain to spend the night in the gorgeous Pyrenees Mountains. Yeah. Hey. Thank you so much for watching. In the next video, we wake up in the incredible Pyrenees. We go to Marseille to watch the world rugby and explore the south of France.